Until this 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution MR arrived in my driveway, it had been three years since I had been behind the wheel of a famed Evo. On top of its awesome performance, what I remember most about that car is how stripped it was of any accoutrements. Its sole purpose was evident from the moment you stepped inside, racing. Since then, new trim levels of the Evo have been added, and this one here, known as the MR, is at the top. With an MSRP of 36894 this is the most desirable of the Evolution foursome available. Exclusive to the MR, which stands for Mitsubishi Racing, are forged aluminum BBS wheels for the purpose of weight savings, a close ratio 6-speed gearbox, something called a Vortex Generator spinning air to the rear wing, which is equipped with a wicker bill extension to increase downforce, specially designed inverted Bilstein shocks, and an aluminum roof to lower the center of gravity. Other small touches include a boost gauge kit, a front under air dam, and front brake air guides. All told, these are some big time additions and end up costing about seven grand more than the base Evolution RS. In case you need a refresher, the Evolution is an all-wheel drive, turbocharged, compact sedan based on the Lancer. It has elevated itself to mystical status during recent years, long before it was even offered stateside, thanks in part to its World Rally Circuit heritage and its video game popularity. Horsepower recently took a bump, with the 2.0-liter Mivec 4-cylinder producing 286 horses and 289 pound-feet of torque. The all-wheel drive system has an active center differential and comes with three driving modes, tarmac, gravel, and snow. Compared with my last Evo test drive, this MR model exhibited the benefits of the Bilstein shocks by producing a more compliant ride while keeping the handling characteristics at stellar levels. Combined with the rush of turbocharged acceleration to the tune of 60 miles per hour in under 5 seconds, the Evo MR is one of the quickest and acutely precise cars I've ever driven. It begs for a rally course to be treated appropriately. But alas, it's a car for the youth, early 20-somethings who would rather invest every dime of their paycheck into a car payment than drive something less exotic. Most guys my age would feel a little self-conscious driving a car with this much braggadocio. And it's true. Every punk I encountered this week wanted to race me to the next light. They all lost, by the way. For Drive Time on Car TV, I'm Steve Hammes.